Leading industry players from around the world examine the state of global energy at this gathering in Moscow. The Prime Minister of the Russian Federation, Dmitry Medvedev, welcomed the dignitaries and reinforced the importance of this gathering. This is the place, an authoritative place, where a regular and important dialogue between main consumers, producers and transporters of energy resources takes place. Not only experts in the area of international energy, but also the people whose decisions define the energy supply of the entire planet, gathered here today. The Secretary General of the International Energy Forum, Dr. Aldo Flores, said he was pleased with the turnout at this event despite geopolitical issues that kept some ministers away. Some had pressing domestic matters to attend to and could not join us. Others are not here because of their stance regarding current developments in Ukraine. Issues within the industry, including the role of non-conventional oil and gas, were top of the agenda. The Saudi Arabian energy minister, Ali Al Naimi, said he welcomed any additional production that would feed future energy demand. We will be very happy to see different producers increasing their production and going into the international market. Remember, the world every year consumes how much? Over 30 billion barrels of oil. Somebody has to replace that. So the more oil is produced, the more it's replaced. The mood was upbeat and busy throughout the days, with delegates exchanging views on all energy matters. Uh, the dialogue is hugely important for Volpac. We, uh, we pursue liberal oil markets and, and gas markets, in which we can operate as an independent operator. And all counterparts here, both from the supply and demand side of the energy and oil industry, discuss on how energy markets can function more liberal and better. The ministerial meeting of the International Energy Forum happens every two years. We're here in Moscow in May 2014, where company executives, energy ministers and heads of organization are here to discuss the new geography of energy and the global energy security. All agree that the role of the International Energy Forum is now more important than ever. We are supporting, yes, we are supporting. We, 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 we think it is a it is an excellent organization. Uh, it is an open area where uh, we have some small countries, big countries, we can debate, we can, we can solve our problems. The point is that because the International Energy Forum is there, it organizes a number of venues bringing us all together. And uh, it's not, it doesn't come by nature that OPEC and IEA are coming together. But within the IEF framework, it happens. Uh, to be part of uh, IEF uh, framework, is very important and uh, would uh, contribute to the uh, communication between producers and consumers of gas and uh, thus would lead to a better cooperation for the sustainability of the market. The launch of Jody Gas, the work of the joint organization data initiative that already tracks the oil market, was welcomed by all in attendance. I would like to congratulate the uh, IEF for the excellent coordination of the Jody initiative. I can tell you it's not an easy job. We are sometimes difficult partner organizations, but uh, thanks to your wise and your leadership, I think uh, Jody is uh, progressing very well. Two roundtable parallel sessions were introduced for the first time ever at an International Energy Forum ministerial. This gave delegates a chance for more intimate discussion on building resilient energy systems, lessons from national and regional approaches, and a look at sustainable energy for all, an issue addressed earlier in the keynote session. It is obvious that we cannot achieve the Millennium Development Goals or sustainable development without access to reliable, affordable energy. At the successful conclusion of the ministerial meeting, the role of the International Energy Forum was reinforced at a press conference by the Russian Energy Minister and by the IEF Secretary General. The ministers did exchange very actively the points of view. There were presentations of national experiences. There were some broader perspectives about global issues. Every country wants to know that the security of supply, its security of supply, uh, will be met, and every producer wants to know that the security of demand will be will be there so the investments can be guaranteed. That sentiment was supported by Saudi Arabia's energy minister, who made it clear he saw an even brighter future for the International Energy Forum. The IEF is a very crucial and important organization. I hope 
the IAF in the future will be the main organization for all energy issues.